Good morning and welcome to the SLT News in East Lansing, Michigan. I'm Miranda McBird. And I'm Neil Swank. We have some breaking news, Neil. There appears to be a cold front coming in from the north and our viewers need to be prepared for the weather. That sounds concerning, Miranda. Let's turn to our meteorologist, Amelia McPhillips, to find out more. Yes, Neil, that's correct. As you can see, we have a cold front coming in from the north, and the lake effect over here in Lake Michigan is making temperatures drop. Also, winds are really picking up from the south. It's going to be a very, very cold winter. Be sure to wear lots of layers and bundle up. Back to you, Neil. That's right, folks. You heard it here first. Excuse me, Neil. While well, Michigan is known for its winter season, not everyone knows how to prepare for this weather. Well, let's turn to our reporter, Anna Polly, who is on location at Glencairn School. Anna, how are the kids at Glencairn preparing for the cold days ahead? That's right, Neil. I'm here at Glencairn Elementary School in East Lansing, Michigan. I'm talking to wonderful students here at the home of the Scotty Dogs. Excuse me, could you tell me how to prepare for weather at recess? Sure, the key is to dress warmly. Could you elaborate? You need a warm coat, some ends, and a hat. A scarf is a great way to keep your neck warm. Then you just need to grab a pair of gloves. What happens if you forget your gloves? Let me show you. Here comes a student now. Hey, Michael, what's up? Hey, Josh, I forgot my mittens at home, and it's really cold out. You just need to grab a pair of gloves. It doesn't even matter if they're matching. Oh, thanks. Well, that's really handy. So, you need a hat, a scarf, a coat, and gloves. Is that all? Oh, no. You need boots. Without boots, your fit will be very chilly, and you have to be on the blacktop. If you want to play with the snow on the grass, you need boots. Hi, Ori. Where are you going? I'm going to the office. I forgot my boots. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that, but do they have boots in the office? They have some, but not enough for everyone. I'm going there to ask Ms. Fox to nap. Good luck. This is sure fascinating. Oh, looks like some more Glencairn students are coming down the hall. Let's see if we can talk to them. Hello, can you guys tell me how you prepare for Michigan's cold weather months? Sure, I'd be happy to. If you ask me, snow pants are the most important part about the winter months because they keep you very warm. At Glencairn School, if you don't have snow pants, you can't play in the snow or go sledding. Sledding? Did you say sledding? I think our viewers would love to hear about kids going sledding at school. That's so cool. Yeah, it is. If there's enough snow on the ground, Mrs. Ware will bring out the sleds. Don't expect to go sledding if you don't have snow pants. I wonder what happens if kids forget their snow pants. I'll ask this student now. Hello. What do you do if you want to go sledding, but you forget your snow pants? I forgot my snow pants, but I really want to go sledding, but I can't because I don't have snow pants. But hopefully the office has some. Wow, could you tell me more about sledding? Yeah. Mrs. Ware and the lunch monitors bring out the sleds some days when there's snow on the ground. We are here at the office at Glen Cairn School. This is where you would come if you needed some winter stuff, like boots, hat, or even a warm coat. This is Miss Weston. Hi, Josh. Do you need something? Yes, I forgot my coat at home. Okay, well let me show you where we have a big supply of everything. Okay, Josh, let's look in here and see if we can find something your size. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, you heard it here first, folks. The kids at Glencairn sure know how to prepare for winter weather. They set a great example for all of you. This is Anna Pauly signing off. Back to you, Neil. What a fascinating story, Neil. It's always great to see our future generations really making good choices. Yes, it is, Miranda. I think we can all learn a thing or two from the students at Glencairn. Well, it's time to wrap things up here at Channel SLT News. Thank you for tuning in, and like they say at Glencairn, have a great day full of fun, learning, and bucket filling. Have a great day, everyone.